There's a more serious problem coming up. Is the issue of the OFWs uh, uh, coming in? And sa pagkangayon meron tayong 24,000 stranded in Manila, and they are stranded in the sense that they are not allowed or they cannot go home because the local governments uh, are not accept Manila, are not accept Manila, so. Uh, merong nang pronouncement ng policy na they will not accept returning OFWs. Uh, ang masama nito, kasi pag ganun ang behavior natin, Secretary Bello says that there are about 302 coming uh, in in a short while and 62,000 or 302 and 62,000 are expected to arrive as soon as our airports are open. Uh, no, in the, not really confusion, but in the, uh, in the, the desire to protect uh, their respective turf territories, I, I, I can say that uh, if that is the way they would handle it, like a, a somebody who's really a chieftain of the city or province during a, 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 a pandemic time. Uh, okay, and pero alam mo, hindi naman lahat laga na kasabit. And it is very uh, cruel, actually, to deny them to go home. Nandito yan sila sa hotel because they are not or they cannot go home. First, because of lack of money and uh, resources. So I have instructed, was it last night, uh, through to Secretary Roque that I am ordering the use of all government assets, whether it's really uh, the air or the sea or the transportation owned by government that the city should be utilized in uh, uh, accepting and probably delivering them to their, if possible, delivering them to their homes, to their families. Na itong coming at 302, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a big worry. Now, you know, 62 na dadating shortly. Pag hindi ninyo tinanggap yan, makagulo tayo ang Pilipinas. Now, let me be very clear. Let me talk about legality. Para wala tayong uh, wala tayong sakit ng loob. Nobody but nobody can really stifle the right of uh, whether he is traveling, working outside and coming in, going home. Nagkaroon lang itong temporary uh, uh, an aberration in the movement of people because of the COVID. Ito ang sasabihin ko sa lahat. I said nobody but nobody. And only the national government can impose restrictions on travel because it is the only agency who can declare that there is an emergency of national interest. The issue is national interest. And uh, that, 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 that power to, to, of declaration is not shared by anybody. It's the national government. Ngayon, uh, may mga siyudad na ayaw nilang tanggapin. You know, I'm ordering you to accept them. Open the gates of your 
territories and allow the people and allow the Filipino to travel wherever they want. Yung ano yung uh, sequestration ng tao o lockdown should dovetail the national policy. Or better still, as not to confuse the people, you are not allowed to unilaterally declare na ganito, you are closing uh, the entry, the, the egress and uh, ingress ng tao. Mahirap yan. Pagkagulo tayo, kanya-kanya kayong... So, if you want uh, a measure to be implemented in your local government unit, ask permission from the task force. Because, alam mo, it involves many issues. One, in the name of humanity. Two, in the constitutional right. And ito yung pinakamabigat. It is the constitutional right of people to go home, to travel and go home. Do not impede it. Do not obstruct the the movement of people because to run the risk of getting sued criminally. Yung ang agency because uh, it is the national government who declared there is a national emergency involving uh, a pandemic, an issue of health. Uh, that, that, that that power cannot be shared by by anybody else. If you want as a, an adjunct of government, magingi uh, ka ng permiso sa task force. They are the better position really to assess. Kawawa itong 24, so uh, I'm ordering sali na yung pera sa, kung may naiwan pa, sa 200 million Gastos yan rin ninyo yun para sa pag-uwi ng tao. Because the reason why they are here is connected with the issue of COVID. Nagsiuwihan ito, dinipot, kasi nga may pandemic involving the entire planet Earth. So the reason why they are uh, deported or forced to go home is because of, uh, well, maybe so as not to have a contagion involving a lot of uh, in numbers. So to contain it, ito yung mga tangang, ating mga kabuhayan, pinapauwi. Ang kape natin sila. Sir, yung pong order ninyo na 24,000 OFW use, Lahat po yan ay uh, na-test natin using PCR at lahat po yan ay negative. Hmm. Kung sakali lang po na may makakalusot na nawala yung kanyang result at uh, siya ay dumating sa LGU ng walang papeles, ang advice po natin sa LGU, tanggapin niyo at ilagay niyo sa quarantine hanggang dumating yung kanyang result. Sapagat yung pong 24,000 po yan ay tested negative po sa PCR. Yeah. Okay. With, with doubly, no more, more reason really for, for uh, not uh, refusing to, to accept them. Kawawa uh, naman. Alam mo, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening, but ang ito Pilipino to kababayan natin, tanggapin ninyo and provide for uh, sequestration houses uh, if you want. Yung doon sila i-quarantine. Uh, pero hindi hati tayo sa problema. Total, hindi naman kami nagtulang. Whatever you need, we provide. It's just a matter of time. We, you cannot service the entire 110 million Filipinos at once. That's why I think, I think it's ignorance only on the part of the LGUs. They don't understand 
you know. So I think tama ko yung sinabi niyo, we should lecture to them. We should have seminars. I'm willing to give it even by a Zoom, you know. We're doing this anyway for LGUs. We can do it for them. We have to educate them. Mr. Leno, 4,000 will be home to their own provinces by Thursday. Uh, it behooves upon the DILG to really see to it that everybody is uh, uh, delivered and returned to their homes, sa pamilya nila. Noong panahon ng good time, we were experiencing the benefits of uh, the dollar. Uh, it formed a big part of our GDP. GDP is simply income. Ang ibig sabihin ng GDP is income. Noong income na nandang sa bansa natin, uh, malaki because uh, nandito ito mga OFW. Tapos ngayon, hindi natin tanggapin, oh, what, what's the... What's the... That, that's final. <laughs>